Hey everybody, it's Keelan. I am going to share a little bit with you about my history with video games today. So, when I was growing up, I came from a big video game family, which was awesome. We played a lot. Console games, Game Boy, computer games. So, since I was the youngest, I would often be kind of gathered around the Game Boy or the TBR console was connected to like it was a campfire. Um, sometimes my siblings would let me play, um, aka hand me a controller and be like, yeah, you're playing along with us, um, which was kind of rude, but I would probably do the exact same thing. Um, so, you know, I had time to kind of develop my own uh, video game tastes. These days I play more of role-playing or sandbox games. Um, a lot of them are shooter games. Uh, I also do enjoy more gentle games like Animal Crossing. Uh, I play The Sims 4. Um, I also played the Sim SimCity Classic a lot growing up. Um, I still do to this day with an emulator on my phone. Um, and I almost chose that, but then I remember how much time I spent playing Star Fox growing up. Um, so I think most people listening to this will probably be aware, but Star Fox is um, it's about a crap team of cute little animal pilots that are trying to save their planetary system from a big monkey guy, I guess. His name's Andros. Um, we'll talk a little bit about him later. Um, so I don't remember exactly how old I was when I first started playing. I think I was probably around five. Uh, we had an SNES back then, um, but I also did play it on N64 as well. Um, so for this, the sake of this chat, I'm mainly going to stick with the SNES version. Um, I'll reference the N64, N64 version sometimes. Um, so the SNES version had really rudimentary graphics, but um, it kind of looked like the video, music video for uh, Dire Straits' Money for Nothing, which now is hilarious, but at the time was awesome. Um, so just to give you an idea of what that looked like. And then um, in terms of what I liked about the game, first, the soundtrack is awesome. Um, it, you know, goes through different emotions, feels dreadful. Sounds action packed. Sometimes it's sad. Um, sometimes it gives you a victorious feeling. So I really love it. I'm wondering if somebody has sampled it because that would be a great idea if nobody has. Um, I, even listening back on it, I was like, damn, I should put this on my running playlist. Um, so great, great soundtrack. Um, second, the maps are awesome. Um, so there is a kind of choose your own adventure element of the game. There is a hard map you can follow. Um, or an easy path. The, I think the hard path is just a little bit shorter than the easy path, but I mean, it is hard. Even the easy easy stages are kind of hard, um, especially as a child. Uh, so I really love maps in a lot of games. Um, that has influenced a lot of what I did and have done. Um, I think this game, along with SimCity Classic, um, the maps in them kind of inspired me to uh, get my master's in geography, so parents don't say that games can't be educational um, because even the ones that don't seem like they are can be. Um, so I think the other thing that I obviously like is that the characters are very cute. Um, so you had Peppy Hare, who's a rabbit, who's kind of like the older one, I think, in the group. Uh, you had Slippy Toad, who is a frog, or a toad, I guess. It's kind of annoying, um, but you know, you gotta have one annoying character. <laughs> Uh, then we kind of break with this uh, animal last name thing, and we have Falco Lombardi, who I guess is an Italian falcon. Um, and then, uh, of course, there's Fox McCloud, who is the Star Fox, and he's kind of the leader of the group. Um, they also had a hound dog that was their boss. Um, and his name was General General Pepper. So um, one thing that was really cute about them in the in the Super NES game, they uh, kind of talked like Charlie Brown adults, where they were like. Mar, 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 mar. Um, you know, in different kind of frequencies, uh, but in the N64 version, they actually gave them all voices and they had little phrases and um, I'm sure a lot of you remember, you know, do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Try a somersault! Uh, I constantly will say those today, so super impactful <laughs> to, I think, uh, people who played that game. Um, so yeah, I think they were super cute, but it was kind of dark when they would die in a fiery crash. Um, it was kind of disturbing to think of a little dumb frog going down in flames trying to be heroic. So I did not like that part. No!
And I think transitioning off of animals <laughs> crashing while flying, flying a plane. Um, in terms of difficult stages, enemies, or bosses, um, any stage in the game with asteroids in it or any kind of space junk would drive me nuts. Because not only would you have to be kind of shooting down enemies or focus on shooting on some of this uh, junk, you would also have to be dodging it. So that made it extra hard um, to kind of multitask. And sometimes it felt like getting through these stages, it felt like you're going to have a heart attack after getting through them. Um, and then there was, like I said, this hard path you could take, so you would maybe finish faster, but it was, it was, uh, it was treacherous. Um, this, the worst stage was, uh, it was called Sector Z, and I think, um, in N64, General Pepper describes it as, like, a space junk or spaceship graveyard, uh, which is ominous. That's pretty creepy. And you make it through this kind of treacherous stage where you have to dodge all this stuff, um, only to come out and shoot down the freaking ship. So that was so frustrating. It's like when you first play, letting all your energy out, and then all, you're like, oh, I have this whole like second stage that I have to play through. So yeah, those were I think were the difficult things about Star Fox. And then kind of transitioning away from Star Fox. Um, what video game, game character do I believe best resembles me and why? Uh, this was a tough one because a lot of the games I played growing up didn't have characters that were girls or women. I think, you know, that's more common now. Um, so I think the one that I have related to the most in the past was Zoe from Left 4 Dead. So at the time she was, I was a college student, she's a college student, um, and you know, she was just kind of like a normal, every woman, every girl, um, who's just kind of bopping along life, but she's also a big horror movie buff, and uh, she always quoted Aliens, which I appreciated. Um, she said, like, game over, man. Can come at you and they never goddamn stop. Game over, man! Game over! What the hell was that? <laughs> Ready? Um, but I, I liked her a lot because, like I said, she was kind of just a, a normal girl, woman, um, who was put in a situation that she was not necessarily prepared for. So I think that's identifiable, you know, at any stage in life when you're dropped into something that you're not necessarily wanting to do, ready to do, prepared to do, um, very relatable. So in terms of video games, I hate why. I don't remember the name of ones that I hate. Um, if I hate them, I usually just don't play them, so I don't remember them. I do remember my dad, bless his heart, would get a lot of like educational games. Um, that drove me nuts. I would try them and hate them, and then I'd feel guilty. Don't tell him I said that. I'd feel very guilty about it, about not wanting to play them, um, but I don't remember the names of them. So I do remember, I'll update you, but they're just gone from my memory. And that, that's kind of it. So, um, yeah, you can find me on the internet. I'm on Blue Sky at Keelan 12 Foot. That's K E E L I N 1 2 F T. Uh, for Twitter, I am on, but uh, you'll have to find me. I'm there. Um, and then I am doing the Braswell Ambulance Chasers article. It drops every Saturday morning. I guess that depends on what time zone you're in, but. For most people that are listening to this, it'll probably be Saturday morning. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it's just if you play fantasy baseball, I just do weekly injury updates. Um, you know, kind of share who's injured and what you can do to kind of replace them. I'm always happy to chat in the comments. But I mean, anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening to my video game stories.